Previously on the Dead Man Mode mini-series, we managed to get ourselves 10 Abyssal Whips and swap that for 200 mil old school RuneScape GP. Then we punched out a bunch of raids in the hopes of acquiring ourselves max gear in Dead Man Mode. No swapping GP into the game and I didn't have a clan behind me to feed me max gear. And we're trying to get the absolute best possible gear we can to potentially compete with other people that have been fed in the 1v1s. So in this episode, we're gonna keep punching out raids, keep making as much money as we can, and keep trying to buy ancestral pieces, dexterous prayer scrolls, Zuriel staffs, VLSs, dragonfire shields, all of that good stuff. But before we jump on into today's video, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, ExpressVPN. Today's sponsor is ExpressVPN. Now, I think we all know you can't put a price on internet safety, but for the low price of less than $7 per month, you can get ExpressVPN. Now, while a VPN is good for internet safety and protecting your IP address, it's also good for other things. Let's say my dad wants me to come around for dinner and I want to sit at home gaming all night. What I can do is just change my location through the VPN to, let's say, London in the United Kingdom. I can then go to my Facebook, send my dad a message and say, Hey, sorry, dad. I'm actually in England for work. Send him a nice little Photoshop picture of me next to the London Eye and Bob's your uncle. Now, I'm not sure how it is in other countries, but I know Australian Netflix sucks. There's never the show that you want to watch when you want to watch it. That's another thing you can do with ExpressVPN. If you're on Netflix and you change your location to somewhere else in the world, you then have access to that country's Netflix. Now, while it's only $7 a month, if you head to expressvpn.com forward slash evscape or click on the link in my description, you can find out how to get three months free. Once again, thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Oh my god, I swear to too. fucking god, I swear oh, to god, oh I got the god, fucking omelette. Oh my god, you got the omelette. No way. Oh my god, dude. No fucking way. Dude, ah! I just... Oh my god. Go on, now. Show the purple straight away. Let's fuck, see Fuck, man. I literally I just saw a, that bastard could, pop up beside me. I was like, holy fuck. This could be a bomblet. It could be a bomblet. Never There's had no one. Way. Would be quite pissed off in dead man mode. That's a good picture. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a very nice you, thumbnail, actually. Hang on. Surely this is a dex. Yep, there oh! it is. Very juicy. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a fucking a good raid, bro. Holy fuck. That is fucking fuck. sick. Yeah, Whack it for 20, I'd say. Yeah, I'll put it in for 20. There it is. Oh, on the, oh. On the dot. That's Dude, nice. Dude, that that's is a juicy very burger, bro. fucking juicy. That's try. You reckon a cold sweat, John? 10 mil, yeah? Yeah, 10 on the dot. There it is. Nice. Oh my god, I'm looking fucking dangerous, man. Got a purple, boys. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go live. Go on, go on, go Fuck's sake, man. You are bad luck, yeah. Ancestral rogue top, I'm feeling it. That would be fucking juicy. Please get an ancestral piece like Come on! Legs. Oh! Nice, 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 nice. That's a boy. Well, you get a purple, Jake. Yeah. Okay, back to go. back. On me now. Ooh, back to back. Ooh. We just got two staffs, Jake. Oh, nice. GZ, GZ. Anyone else want to go fuck this kind of outside? Jake. All right, here we go. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, not bad, not bad. What was that? Damn, wow. man. A bucky, no, buck, buckler. Bucky. How much, Jake? Buckler went for six mil. That's all right. Oh, Fuck, that's not bad, eh? It's going to be ancestral, and you're selling it to John for half price. No, I'm definitely not selling it for half price. It will be double the price that it is. Uh, uh, calling... Ancestral top. Oh, I'll take it. Nah, this will be a twisted buckler. No, I've already had too many uh, bucklers, man. It can't be. Nah, it's, I'm thinking of Dex, to be honest. I think yeah, it's going to be a Kodai, man. man. Dex. Arcane. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Unlucky. Pet with it, though. That's pretty good still. I'll Did check how much it is, because I want to get an ACB, but I might just use it, to be honest. Hungry bastard. All right. Any guesses, boys, before we open up? Uh, can a Claws. A Dex? Buckler. A buckler? You can get fucked. Claws, mate. <laughs> All right. Easy. Coda. Yeah. A Dex, oh, yes. No insta uh, sell. It's going in for 20. You going for 20? You could do 25 overnight. 21.5 Insta. 
Ooh. So I had the offer for the Eternal Crystal come through, boys. As you can see here, 7.2 mil, plus the Infinity Boots at 3.7. So we got the Eternal Boots for 11 mil. I just need to find someone to whack them together for me now. We've got our Eternals, and I think we should be able to buy a Dragon Crossbow for around 12 mil. I'm going to leave that in for a bit. And there we go, boys. Uh, John, the man that was trying to kill Sea Engineers Hardcore, has just put the Eternal Boots together for me. So cheers to him. Absolute weapon. And now, we just need that Dragon Crossbow. Full Ancestral. Max says complete. I know oh, it was so a back to back. Man. There we go. Oh, Jake, this is the buckler I was feeling before. No, no, no. Oh, this could be an ancestral piece. Ah, this this might claw, be a nice little fucking Ancetti piece for me. Claws. Buckler. Ah, that's an arcane. Oh, okay. Unlucky. Well, I'd probably just keep that one if I'm honest. So, fantastic news, guys. The dragon crossbow came through last night at 10 mil which I think is a pretty cheap price considering ACB has gone for like 25. Now, the only problem is getting the bolts and the bolts are not going to be cheap. Huge, huge news here, guys. I managed to sell off my Carol's leather top and bottom as well as the Aram's top and bottom uh, for what looks to be around 15 mil there. Yeah, about 14, 15 mil, uh, which gave us enough money to go ahead and get the ancestral robe top which is almost 29 mil at this point, which is absolutely insane. Um, that just means we only need the Ancestral Robe legs, which I imagine will probably be around the same amount, and the decks. So at this point, we're probably two Rage Drops away from finishing the max set, which, given current swap rates, is a lot of money in 07. Like, it's probably going to end up being like a 500 mil 07 max set that will literally just disappear. It's a very good shade of purple. I'm thinking an Elder Mall. Yeah, oh, don't it's do it to me again. Yeah, it's I definitely got a weapon tinge to it. No, I think this is it. I think it's it. I think it's no, it's definitely an arcane. If it's, yeah. if it's an ancestral piece, I'll be happy as well. Here we go. Hey, it's bro. an arcane. GC arcane. Yeah, that's oh! good. That's very Ooh. nice. Very juicy. Baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very juicy. All right. All right, boys. I've added everything up, and I think I think I should have enough money now that I've sold the Twisted Bow. That's right. I sold it for 25 mil in the GE. Uh, I should have enough money to be able to afford a Dex and Ancestral Robe Bottoms with this money that I have in my inventory here. I'm going to see if I can get a Dex for 30 and then I should be able to swap the Ancestral Top for Ancestral Bottoms. And then, that's it. Bob's your uncle. Let's have a look here. 30 mil, Dexterous Prayer Scroll, I beg of thy. Oh, it doesn't buy. Um, okay, well, I'll figure it out, don't worry. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the history, Ancestral Robe Top sold off, and the Ancestral Robe Bottoms bought. Sold them and bought them for the same price, so that is huge moves. And if we go over to the main account now, we can see that we do, in fact, have max gear minus the Dexterous Prayer Scroll. And I've done a little bit of soul searching tonight, boys, and I have come to the conclusion that I'm not going to get the Dex. The reason I did Dead Man Mode in the first place was, number one, to have fun, and number two to swap GP back to the main game and make money. The reasoning behind that is I'm, I'm very unlikely to make it to the 1v1s. I am in a clan for the final hour, but even if I do make it to the 1v1s, I'm not going to make it very far. And this gear is worth quite a bit of money in the real game. Just based off some rough calculations, it's really, really hard to tell with the swap rates at the moment, but I imagine this set is probably worth anywhere between 300 mil and 500 mil 07. And if I was to just use this gear to try and get into the 1v1s, yes, it would make some good content, but the content that I could make with 500 mil in 07 is just way more than what I could make with this. So, I'm going to sell the gear for 07. I'm still going to try and uh, make the 1v1s in the final hour and stuff like that. But I'm just going to be going in a little worse gear. I think what I'll do is leave this 30 mil in my inventory. We'll gear up with the 30 mil, go out for a PK, 
And if we don't die, we'll use that gear for the 1v1s. Just a quick little update, boys. I just sold off the Armadil chest plate for 40 mil and the uh, Dragon Crossbow for 30. So we've got 70 mil in the inventory. Bunch of items left to go. I just sold two items and some dude before offered me 200 mil for the lot. And I was thinking about it. You know, just sell everything for 200 mil straight away. But fuck that, man. 70 mil already and two items. I've heard that Seer's Rings and Dragon Fire Shields are gone for fucking heaps as well. So I'm still pretty confident we'll make over three. Probably closer to five, though. All right, guys. I, I missed the recordings because I've been at my girlfriend's all night. And I don't have the recording software on my laptop. But we managed to sell off the Ancestral Top Bottom Hat eternal boots and seers rings for 200 mil so we're now at 290 and if we head over to the main account we can see that we still have the dfs the occult necklace the zero staff vls and the amulet of fury huge all right guys looks like we're going to be selling off the dragon fire shield here for 45 mil the guy's just going to confirm in my twitch chat that it's me um so that way he can go first and not get scammed and there it is, boys. We have sold the DFS for another 45 mil. Very juicy. All right, guys. I think that is where I'm going to finish swapping the gear off. I've just got a few offers in the GE right now for a few things that I would like to buy for a PK trip. We'll see if any of it comes through overnight. But as for the tournament and swapping, I ended up making a big old bag as you can see we've got 335 mil in the inventory and we add that to the 200 mil we made at the very start of the season we ended up making 535 mil from swapping this season plus if this comes through i've still got some pretty decent gear for the 1v1 so it's obviously not max gear but um you, you can't really complain with this gear at all it's good 535 mil Old school RuneScape currency we made from the tournament in a month. Fuck yeah, I'm happy with that. The only thing is though, if we'd managed to get a twisted bow in the main game instead of on Dead Man, I would have made more money in the month. So, I mean, there's that, but it's fine. I still made 500 mil. Um, okay, well, boys, not gonna lie, the PKing trip is not going to happen. I woke up this morning and found out that I have one hour and ten minutes to qualify for the final hour. That means I need to get, at this point, 1,344 total, which will go up in the next hour and ten minutes, and I have 1,340 I previously had 1,260, so I've been grinding out these shitty skills like fishing and cooking and shit to try and get these fucking total levels because I'm worried that I'm not even going to make the final hour at this point. I had another account, as in an account that I was going to play on for the final hour so that I don't get speared into multi. There is absolutely no fucking way I'm going to be able to play on that account now, which sucks. There it is, guys. I managed to qualify for the final hour. I didn't even get to show you guys my final gear, which ended up being Max Barrows with Zuriel Staff and VLS. So even if I do make it to the 1v1s, I've got some pretty decent gear. Obviously, it's not the absolute max gear that, you know, I was kind of hoping for. Um, but I'm much more happy with the fact that I managed to make 535 mil because... I now have a twisted mode on the main game again, which is fucking great. It means I can punch out these challenge mode raids because there was a new update today with the raids for the ancestral recolors, which is going to be huge. So I'll be pumping them out from now on. But what a fun dead man mode tournament. There will be another video if I make the 1v1s, uh, if I get far, that is. If not, the next video on this channel will be the old school RuneScape Battle Royale. So make sure you get pumped up and get ready for that. Check out the community tab if you haven't already. That shows you the trailer for the old school RuneScape Battle Royale. It's going to be live streamed on the 13th of June at 3 p.m. BST. So excited for this one. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Thanks again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out that link in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next video. After the Battle Royale, take it easy.